Well, hello there. This is Gary from the Narrow Gate, and I'm just uh, coming to you guys with a word that I feel like the Lord has been saying to me, and I couldn't quite get it into words, but two weeks ago I was praying, and it had to do with the food shortages that seemed to be coming around and I know if you guys are looking at, at the grocery store and things like that you can see that there are supplies and things like that that aren't necessarily there that have been there before and of course there are some personal circumstances that are going on in my life uh, that would have me pray in that particular way but I was basically praying in reference to all the ships that seem to be out in the distance off in the shores and I know some people will argue well those ships are just waiting in line uh, to get to the shore to drop off the food supplies that is necessary uh, some say that they're you know tied to ships in other nations and things like that and but anyway we know that there are ships out there there are a lot of people that have taken photos and and things of that nature and they've seen those uh, ships there regardless of the circumstances uh, it really doesn't matter. We can tell that there are shortages, at least in the grocery store, um, as we see right now. But anyway, what the Lord has, what I prayed and I asked the Lord about was, I prayed and I asked Him, you know, Lord, you have given me words, you have given things for my personal life. This kind of you know hinders things or it looks like it would hinder things and I was in a quiet place and I sort of got a vision in front of me as I was standing on the shore and then all these ships um, just started coming to the shore and they look like you know freight ships and ships that would carry supplies and things of that nature but those particular ships were going to the shore and they were coming towards me. And what I feel like the Lord was basically showing me is, is that we do not have to worry. We do not have to fret because the blessings are coming. And regardless of the situations and regardless of the circumstances that you see right now, they're not going to be the same. And if you were going through a particular situation where you seem, it seems like things are hopeless, whether it's food supplies, whether it's, whether it's a job, whether it's um, uh, uh, sickness, whatever it may be, we just have to press in, seek God, and those things will be there and God will deliver us. And I also wanted to mention, even though what it looks like in the grocery store, that there seems to be food shortages, if you actually look at your neighbors or your friends or local farms that are growing produce and that do have eggs and other types of animals and plants and things of that nature, those resources are there. So regardless if it seems like there's a food shortage, there's not really a food shortage. A food shortage is food all across the board, um, totally missing. And this includes farms and neighbors and things like that not being able to have the sources to give the food. So I just want to mention to you guys that we do not need to worry. We do not need to fret. And besides all that, I do want to mention that coming up uh, this coming Saturday, we're going to have our, ne our next episode, Kingdom Connections. And Kingdom Connections is, is going to be an audiogram version that is on YouTube and Facebook. So keep an eye out for that. But also, coming out on RSS feed, we are going to have our next episode. And that's going to be episode 6. And it's going to talk about provision and God's provision in hard times. So... I feel like it's important for us to meditate and pray and see, press into God's Word for these particular things because God's Word doesn't return unvoid. And if we truly believe that God will provide in all circumstances, then God will provide in all circumstances. So 
just sit back and wait for that episode to come out, and God bless.